What is up guys, it is Nisho here and another video for you guys today. So now I want to talk to you guys about number 41, uh, Baguska. Boy holding his liquor. <laughs> boy can't hold his liquor, that boy is slumped. All right, so he's a generic rank four, right? Two level fours, nothing too special. But when you look at his effect, man, his effect is crazy, especially for something that um, is pretty easy to summon. So he has low low stats, like 21 attack, 2,000 defense. Nothing too special, but nothing to really scoff at either. You know, like he, he could probably attack over a few monsters. So his effect. So while he's in attack position, your opponent cannot uh, target it with card effects. Also, it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So automatically, while he's in attack mode, he's pretty much a uh, untouchable unless by kaijus or by battle you know so um you know mostly you know there are still effects that don't target and can still get rid of it but uh while it's in defense position right change all face up monsters on the field to defense position and also negate the activated effects of defense position monsters on the field no cost if you summon him in, in defense mode everybody's in defense mode this did this guy booty so big he shake the whole place everybody forced to stay in defense mode man <laughs> you can't mess with this boy and uh, his maintenance cost is uh, once per turn during your standby phase you have to detach XC material from this card and or this card is destroyed it's no option he has to stay on the field um, and when he can't he's destroyed luckily it's not like acid golem where you, you're just forced to keep it on board and you take like 2000 damage every turn this is something way better alright and uh, <laughs> it's it's real crazy the potential that this card has simply because of like how much it can do I, oh my god man i mean in super heavy samurais this this might actually do some damage just because of uh <laughs> just because everybody's forced to stay in defense mode like everybody is forced to stay down and kind of just like you can't activate effects you know you can use continuous effects but you can't really activate any monster effects on board so super heavies could definitely uh, benefit off of that, but uh, nobody really cares about super heavies at this point anymore. I mean, they're getting their last bit of support in Battles of Legend Light, Lights Revenge, but that's uh, we're still missing a few cards. But I, I don't know if it's honestly going to help them. But you know, still, I mean, uh, it, it just it, it just has such a presence on the board. It it can really change the game a lot because. Um, like for two turns, your opponent is going to force to keep is, is forced to keep their monsters in defense mode unless they summon out a monster that's unaffected by other monster effects. And not a lot of decks these days have that. And so, um, I mean, unless it's like a masterpiece or something, but even then it's like, uh, it, it's like, you know, like masterpiece is something, you know, normal, but it's like there aren't not every deck has a card like masterpiece where they can just easily bring out a monster that's unaffected by monster effects and so yeah i mean i think this card's amazing honestly um it it it, it, it has protection while it's in attack mode and it uh it uh, defends while it's in defense mode that's is pretty much the basis of what this card is now i heard some people saying that this might be a prize card for the tcg which honestly would suck pretty bad if it was, because it's an amazing card, man. A lot of people would drop so much money on this card, man. People <laughs> people would get so tight. I mean, especially in Link format where um, we uh, we have a lot of cards that uh, that aren't really as good as they used to be, simply because of the extra monster zone rule. And forcing all your opponent's monsters into the defense mission and not being able to activate their effects, it may not do anything to Link monsters, but you know, not everybody's gonna play Link monsters, you know? like. You can even see, like, uh, we saw the OCG um, uh, Nationals duel, like the the WCQ for for the OCG, and they they were in link format, and they only use, they only use like one or two link monsters, I think the the entire stream, and uh, <laughs> it just goes to show like how little link monsters actually affected the current game as it is. It's probably gonna affect the game a lot more in the future, where where there are better um, link based archetypes, but for now. It's not something that's, like, too strong, you know, like, too relevant. 
So uh, this card is definitely going to have a, a lot of power from you know this point forward. But even then, it, it's only like one or two Link monsters you're going to have to deal with. Like you, you can easily like Mirror Force them, or like Ghost Ogre them or something. Uh, so it, it's 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 not going to be hard to to get rid of the cards that might be able to stop this guy. I mean, other than like a masterpiece, but Kaijus still exist. So Kaijus are good. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's really all I have to say for now. I mean, this this, this guy's pretty self-explanatory. He's pretty good. And uh, I think it's going to be interesting to see exactly how, how much this card affects the meta. So, you know, this was Nistro here. Nistro out. Sasuke Uchiha. You're annoying.